Hey everyone, Carol Cowan here from carolcowan.ca, emotional freedom technique therapist and social worker. So today's topic is EFT, how it works and why it works. And this is pretty exciting for me because I do have a, um, an interest in the, the neuroscience of behavior change. And I think it's important for people to understand EFT and emotional freedom technique if they're going to engage in the process. And it's your body and it's your brain. And I think it's awesome to be able to know how it works and why it works. Because when I initially started doing EFT back in 2008, initially people thought it was kind of strange, right? It's a bit odd to be tapping on acupuncture points and how does that possibly change or rewire our associative neural pathways and the emotional responses that we have to things? How does that, you know, facilitate a decrease in cortisol levels. So these questions. And since 2008, there's been lots of research out there and it's um, great to see how EFT can really impact and make changes. And so if we look at some of Dawson Church's uh, research, um, we can, we've can we been able to see that a tapping session can decrease cortisol levels close to 24, 25%. And um, it can have great impact in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety. And all these things are fabulous. I'll post the link um, to that research below if you are interested in that. So we do know that EFT does work from a research standpoint, which I think is really valid and really important to look at it. And so what I'll talk about is the seemingly strange technique and why tapping on acupressure points makes a difference for us. So what most people experience when they're tapping is simply a res the result is a calm, relaxed state, a calm feeling, a balance of the energy system, a shifting of an emotional state to being more neutral and more relaxed. And so when we get really specific with EFT, that gives us the ability to rewire an emotional response that we have to a thought whether that thought is about the past, the present, or the future, we have the ability to rewire that response. So to explain this a bit more, what I like to dis to, to use is the you know a Pavlovian um, dog experiment. And so if you're familiar, if you have pets at home, you probably know that, or you've heard of this research before, if we rang a bell and fed a dog, and rang a bell and fed a dog, and rang a bell and fed a dog, the next time we ring the bell, the dog would salivate. Right, so if you have pets at home, you know every time you open the cupboard at five o'clock, the dog has an associative response to that sound, right? What does that have to do with us as human beings? We also have lots of wired responses, right? You hear certain music, reminds you of things, you smell a certain smell, it reminds you of a certain person. Um, you know, there's certain times of day that we have other wired responses and you know reactions and habits that we engage in. And so if you think of an old memory and you feel a negative emotion as a result of that or angry or upset you think of that and you feel angry or upset you think of that you feel angry or upset that's an associative neural pathway that you have uh, an associative response but i want you to think about what might happen if we rang a bell and let the dog outside initially the dog would be a bit unsure about what to do but if we rang the bell and let the dog outside and rang the bell and let the dog outside and rang a bell and let the dog outside the next time you rang the bell the dog would go to the door instead of being expecting to be fed so it's a rewiring of the associative response to the sound of the bell. So essentially what we do in EFT is we have you, we trigger the memory, the thought, and the associative response to that, if it's whatever it is, angry, upset, sad, you name it, anxious. And then we tap the accurate pressure points, which alleviates that symptom and allows us to feel calm and relaxed. We think that thought, trigger that memory, tap to feel calm. Think that thought, tap to feel calm, think that thought, tap to feel calm. So the next time you think that thought, instead of feeling sad or anxious or angry, you feel calm and relaxed instead. And so not only is this happening on an energetic level, but we know now through research it's actually happening on a physiological level, right? So if you think that thought, you trigger that memory, and it causes you to feel angry or upset as you replay that over and over and tell your friend and your girlfriend and your, and your neighbor about it repeatedly. And every time you do that, you're releasing cortisol and stress hormones because it's upsetting every time. You're strengthening that pattern. But if you go and trigger that memory in, in an EFT session, and we tap to regulate. We trigger that memory, tap to regulate. Trigger that memory, tap to regulate. Decrease cortisol. Balance the energy system in the body. Um, you know, engage in more relaxed breathing techniques, your next response emotionally to that memory is feeling calm and relaxed about it. And the beautiful part about EFT is because it's a bottom up approach as opposed to a top down approach is that as a result, what I find is clients naturally have a different way of thinking 
about that. Once the emotional charge is gone, there's an automatic <clears throat> shift in the cognition, the thought about it. I don't know why I was so upset about it. It's not about me. It's about them anyway, right? And we, we try to do that through CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, which is more about, you know, a, a top-down approach. But when you're working from, um, you know, instead of prefrontal cortex to subconscious regions of the brain, things like EFT and EMDR work from a bottom up, right? So we're processing the emotion first, which allows for the positive cognition or a shift in the thinking to happen naturally. So that's what I love about the process of EFT is that when it really works, <clears throat> it's very effective. As long as we strengthen that new neural pathway repeatedly, then we have a long-term result, right? We have a long-term shift in perspective, not only about self, but about the situation or the, or the memory. So if you have any questions about um, EFT, you want to try it, you want to engage in the process, um, feel free to reach out, um, carolcowan.ca um, or info at carolcowan.ca if you want to shoot me an email.